Hey everybody and welcome to the Meaning to Live Jed Said Short Therapy Video Channel. Today we're going to talk about a just a fun, hilarious term that everybody here has heard. It's called dry drunk. This is a colloquialism. It's derived from a community that is expert, that is, has an expertise, I guess. I don't know how to say that. That are, well, they're experts on alcohol. And if you're a friend of Bill, you have definitely heard the term dry drunk. It basically means that you're living life sober, um, you know, but you're really still very unhappy. You're, you really have all the negative emotions still and feelings that alcohol was used to cover up, you know. Another term for this is white knuckling. So it's funny, right? So we, we, if we made up a term like this for mental health clients, it would sound something like tearlessly depressed or calmly anxious. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's just a real dry, drunk, calmly anxious, tearlessly depressed. It's, it's funny. But you get the gist. The, the drug community, you know, drug community, is, is it romanticizes their relationship with drugs and alcohol. You know, and, and so even to the point where when they're doing, behaving okay and not doing anything, they're labeling themselves in a negative way. So we'll talk about labels next time. This time, like, let's talk about this term, dry drunk. I run into this term a lot, heard it just last night. And instead of really talking about the terminology and how interesting and funny this humor is really, that the terminology is, let's use it to um, figure out how to maintain or get clean right really clean so being clean means that if you're struggling with addiction you work through whatever past trauma or thinking errors or negative belief systems or faulty schemas you know you've worked through all that stuff to the point where you don't need alcohol to cover anything up because there's nothing there to cover up so that's that's what being clean is about or you could be one of those that the secondary gains are too high when they use drugs they get too many gains you know from it you might have that one, right? Too high. No pun intended. So uh, in any case, long story short, getting through all this stuff is absolutely uncomfortable and it's absolutely worth it. There is absolutely such a thing as being recovered. So terms like dry drunk or white knuckling, they, they wouldn't even exist if people were actually identifying, um, processing and working through why they chose to do the behavior in the first place. You know what I mean? How cool is that? Like those terms wouldn't even be around if you know we could figure out why we did what we did. So and it and it wasn't because it was fun, right? That's come on in. Well, right away we can figure out that you didn't just do it because it was fun, you know? Because yeah, or you know the secondary game piece, right? That's video twenty eight, by the way. So all these terms, all these phrases. They're just almost, there's too many of them. And it's pretty funny. And it's okay to laugh because humans are super resilient and tough, especially if they've, if they've experienced or processed through addiction, you know, they're extra tough. So we don't want people to know that we're extra tough, right? Because then our enablers wouldn't enable us as much, right? So that's just good stuff. Super resilient. We can do anything, we, like totally possible just really uncomfortable. So that's what dry drunk is. Good stuff. If you have um, any connection at all, if you like what you've seen, like, subscribe, share, all those little things will help this video um, reach more than 18 or 19 people. So, and if you really want to have some fun, push after you subscribe, push the notification button. That way you'll be um, notified anytime a new Jed Said video comes out. And that is it. Thanks for watching this therapy goodness. I have more at the website, www.meaningtolive.com. Check it out. And until next time, awareness up.